Hey everybody, Ricky of Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, July the 9th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York for our Race 9, the feature 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Man of War Stakes, 11 furlongs on the inner turf, Grade 1, 3 year olds and up race for $600,000. Contenders number five, Gio Ponte. Number seven, Cape Blanco. Number two, Bear Path. And number one, Mission Approved. For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts this afternoon, the Man of War honors the champion who rewrote the record books in 1919 and 1920. In 1921, he was retired. To be uh, in stud, also produced a great record, having sired 1937 Triple Crown winner, War Admiral. He was entered into the <laughs> Hall of Fame at the National Museum of Racing in Saratoga Springs, New York. Here in the 53rd renewal of this Grade 1 event, number 5, Gio Ponte, is gunning for his third win in this stakes test, a accomplishment which no other thoroughbred has ever been able to achieve in the past. Shares the speed honors in this field with a five to one shot. Number one, mission approved is the pace profile leader. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, winning in his fourth race back. By the way, he's a perfect two for two into the circle, racing at today's distance of 11 furlongs on the turf. Goes to the post for the Saturday feature with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Ramon Dominguez and Chris Clement in his corner. They've whacked the toe board with. 69% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number seven, Cape Blanco, an Irish bred entry, has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five, winning in his fifth race back. Race nine summary, number five, Gio Ponte, tops my contenders list, which also includes number seven, Cape Blanco, number two, Bear Path, and number one, Mission Approved, 5721 and the ninth from Belmont. The $600,000 Grade 1 Man of War Stakes. Go to Monmouth Park in New Jersey for their feature. Race 11, 5.59 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Long Branch Stakes. Eight and a half furlong route test on the dirt. Three year olds racing for $150,000. Contenders number three, Rattlesnake Bridge. Number eight, Will's Wildcat, the paired entry of number one, Rush Now, and the Stablemate 1A, all of the above on my list, along with number two, Will Burn. Number three, Rattlesnake Bridge, is at the board in three of his four career starts to date, including a win to break his maiden in his first asking. It's coming off a power run place finish in his last start. Number eight, Will's Wildcat, a six to one shot, both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this stakes field this afternoon has produced a pair of power run wins in his last three starts. Race 11 summary, number three, Rattlesnake Bridge tops my contenders list, which also includes number eight, Will's Wildcat, the paired entry of number one, Rush Now, and Stablemate 1A. All of the above on my list with lumber. Number two, Wilburn 3812 in the 11th from Monmouth Park, the $150,000 Long Branch Stakes. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race number three, the eight to one shot, number one, Bell Valley qualifies as a power pony, drops in class by five track master units. The overall speed leader in this claiming field sprinting at or about tonight's distance of four and one half furlongs on the dirt. Presque Isle Downs, race four, entry number five, Mance, six to one in the morning line as the speed leader in this claiming field sprinting at six furlongs on Presque Isle's cushioned dirt track. So from both Belmont Park and Monmouth Park on a Saturday afternoon, for Edom 4, the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.